This is Optimal Finance Daily, Episode 144, The Power of Doing Just One Thing, by J. Money of BudgetsAreSexy.com. Get ready to maximize your potential with Optimal Finance Daily, the podcast that brings you the best content in personal finance five days a week. Your optimal life awaits. Now here's your host, Dan Warren. Hi again, everybody. Welcome back to Optimal Finance Daily, where I read to you Monday through Friday from some of the very best personal finance blogs on the planet. And hard to believe it's already the 15th of September, which means, of course, we're just a week away from the end of summer and the start of fall. Unless, of course, you're listening to old episodes, in which case I have no idea what season you're in, but hopefully you are enjoying it. And I am definitely enjoying uh, the uh, summer winding down. We have had a very warm summer here in western Pennsylvania, and I'm not a big fan of the heat. It seems like the older I get, the less I can deal with it, unless I'm near a pool or an ocean. So I'm very glad to see the temperatures falling as we head into uh, mid to late September here. And today, we are lucky enough to have a sponsor again. Now, this is not going to be an everyday thing right now, and uh, we are really happy that there's a company with a great service that we believe in that also believes in us. So it's a great match, and we are thrilled to mention them here on the show. And that sponsor is FreshBooks. They've made creating and sending invoices a breeze, along with many other features for small business owners and freelancers. Get your free month at freshbooks.com slash finance and enter Optimal Finance Daily in the How Did You Hear About Us section. And today we have a post from Jay Money and Justin from Optimal Living Daily, our brother podcast, actually guest posted on his site. So if you haven't checked out that post, you can find it on budgetsaresexy.com or you can hear Justin read it to you on the Optimal Living Daily podcast, episodes 255 and 256. So you can check that out as well after you're done here, of course. For now, let's hear from Jay Money as we optimize your life. The Power of Doing Just One Thing by Jay Money of BudgetsAreSexy.com. As a financial blogger, my job is to share a billion ways to pay off your debt, save your money, maintain a budget, invest your money, make more money, give your money to me, wait, scratch that one, reach financial freedom, and on and on. I've probably shared over 3,000 or so ideas with you since starting this blog six years ago, and I'm sure I'll spout another 3,000 ideas as fast as you can spell J Money's a bad ass too. But here's the thing. You could choose to only do one thing consistently and still make a huge difference. It just has to be one of the biggies. You do any of these things listed below, just one of them, and you'll become a millionaire in no time, even if you don't do anything else. Five simple ways to become a millionaire. One. Max out your Roth IRA every year, $5,500. Two, max out your 401k every year, $17,500. Three, max out both your IRA and your 401k every year, $23,000. Four, pay off your entire mortgage and save the future payments, $100,000, $300,000, $500,000. Five, win the lottery. Yes, it is in order of difficulty there, but still quite simple. You do any of those on rotation year in and year out, and I guarantee you'll reach financial freedom in 20 to 30 to 40 years, all depending on your expenses and lifestyle, yada, yada. And if you're not in a position to invest large amounts of money every month or year, at least start with something. Even just $100 or $200 a month can do enough to snowball you towards your goals faster. And notice I said simple there and not easy. Everyone knows how to become a millionaire over time. Spend less than you make, and save and invest the difference. But just like trying to lose weight or stop smoking, it takes more than just knowing what to do to make it happen. If that wasn't the case, we'd all be healthy billionaires walking around this planet. We'll have to save the how for another day. It basically comes down to figuring out how to motivate your ass. But for today, just concentrate on the simplicity of it all. Again, you do any of those things above, and you're golden, even if you never do anything else at all, which of course, you'll do anyway throughout your life, but this is good to keep in mind when you're down on yourself or wondering what secrets you're missing out on. There are no secrets. You already know what you have to do. I reference back to my net worth tracker again. You can find it at budgetsaresexy.com forward slash net dash worth forward slash. When I was going through all the articles and linking back to the page there, I noticed a pretty consistent and amazing thing. All I was pretty much doing was maxing out my retirement accounts every year. 
Sure, I was hustling my ass off and trying to pay down my mortgage and other stuff too, but the single driving force to growing our worth from $58,769 to $447,240 in six years was simply following bullet point number two up there and later on number three, maxing out both my retirement accounts. That's it. I know, I know, that's it, as if it were easy. Again, it's not, but it is simple. I knew what I was doing throughout these 70 plus months, but seeing it all laid out there on the graph like that really stopped me in my tracks. Could that really be it? Can you imagine what this number will look like in another 70 months or even 140 months? I'm still taking it all in, but it's a nice reinforcer seeing it all laid out in one simple graph. Sometimes you have to hit pause every now and then and take a look back through time. Not to be a broken record, but I really do encourage you to track your own finances and then take recurring snapshots so you can have a journey to soak in as well. Even if you're starting at the bottom or below that, it'll just make your graph look even sexier down the line. And more importantly, recognize that you can be pretty successful by just focusing and rocking a couple smart moves. The beauty is you only need to figure it out once and then you're good to go. That knowledge sticks with you for the rest of your life. So the point? It doesn't take grand wizardry to figure out how to grow your money. There's a ton of things you can do to kill it, like paying off all your debt, protecting yourself through insurance, becoming a side hustle maven, having an emergency fund, etc. And of course, we'll continue pimping these things as well. But committing to just one or two huge goals like the above can get you to your dreams fast too. You'll have to find the motivation to pull the trigger, of course, and it's not easy, but I promise your future self will thank you handsomely for doing so. Now, to just figure out how to win that dang lottery and speed it up even more. You just listened to the post titled The Power of Doing Just One Thing by J Money of BudgetsAreSexy.com. And right now I'm gonna quote one sentence from that post. Not to be a broken record, but I really do encourage you to track your own finances and then take recurring snapshots so you can have a journey to soak in as well. And this is something we mention frequently here at Optimal Finance Daily, and that's exactly what Justin of Optimal Living Daily wrote about when he guest posted for J Money's site. And like I mentioned at the top of the show, you can hear Justin read it to you on the Optimal Living Daily podcast, episodes 255 and 256. It's all about tracking your finances, and it's a lot easier than it seems. And our new sponsor, FreshBooks, actually has a really simple, easy-to-use system for tracking expenses, and Justin has admitted that it's better than his Excel spreadsheet, which we've told you about so many times here on the podcast. Everything from entering the expense to viewing reports and working with categories is a lot simpler. It's definitely worth checking out. They also have an app which lets you enter your expenses, but also takes pictures of your receipts. Again, so easy to use compared to any other tool that we've tried. So if you're a small business owner or a freelancer, not only is that worth checking out, but they've turned invoicing into such an easy process. It only takes about 30 seconds to create and send an invoice. You can get paid with credit cards, track your and other team members' time, and more. You don't need a credit card to join, and you get a month of unrestricted use just by being a listener of this podcast. By sponsoring this episode, FreshBooks is showing us that they believe in this show, and we believe that they are the best accounting company out there. So to try it out for free, come by freshbooks.com slash finance and make sure to enter Optimal Finance Daily in the How Did You Hear About Us section. And that wraps up today's episode. I will see you on Friday where your optimal life awaits. You've been listening to Optimal Finance Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.